KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, October the 19th. October the 19th, some of us remember October the 19th, 1987 very well. Anyway, we're not there. What we're looking at is the Dow is up 71 at 35,330. It is now, what, uh, 300 points uh, below, exactly 300 points below the all-time high of 35,631. In leg C in the Chapman wave, that means that we should, and a buy mode because the stochastic's good, MACD's good, 90's over the 14 period moving average, that on balance volume just keeps fading. But we should see an attempt to get to the 35,500, uh, 600 area this week. Uh, especially in real C, in Chapman Wave, you're always looking for a buy mode to go to at least a D. That should be uh, a peak higher than this particular high that we're seeing right now. We'll see what happens. It is improving the weekly chart. Look at the S&P. The S&P is lagging the Dow a little bit, still doing very nicely. It's up 13 at 44.99. Uh, most importantly, it's also in leg C. I can now extend this uh, a little bit higher. And that says it could get to the 45. Whoops, 45. 25 area, it's at 44, it's called a 4,500 right now. And it's helping the weekly chart here as well. So, so far on the day, this is good action. The day's young, we've barely begun the session, just a half an hour in. And we're looking at, at the 10, 10 o'clock uh, Tiger Financial News Network update, only a leg B in the QQQs, doing nicely as well, broken above that resistance level. Let's see if at 33.73, 35 right now, it's able to get to 30. 376.30 over the next day. That'll be very important. And we're looking at the IWM, which is uh, lagging again. It's down 13 cents to 224.92. What is important is that gold is moving nicely. High. It's up 13. But wait a minute. Look at silver. Look at that leg D, a huge leg D uh, up at 24.10, up 84 cents. This is a really big move. And that means the dollar is pulling back. Yes, the dollar is pulling back. Still near the uh, recovery highs, but in 93.68, it is starting to show that it's got the H pattern. You've got to be careful here. Let's just quickly look at the TLT because that's uh, pulling back, so rates can rise a little bit. And crude oil, we we'll talk about that in my show coming up, the Tiger Admissions Hour. Don't forget today at 4 o'clock, you've got a subscriber event that is looking ahead in 20 to, to the end of 2021. What do we expect? What are we looking at? What sectors are working? What is not working? A really important webinar. Check it out, front page of TFNN. Talk more about it when I get back.